Hey everybody, Daniel Fusco here, and welcome to today's Two Minute Message. I get asked this question all the time as a pastor, and I'm talking to people, I say, hey, how can I make my loved one, my, my spouse, my, my, my significant other, uh, my partner, how can I make my partner better? Now, now, here's what I always tell people, and people do not like it when I say this. I'm like, listen, the only way to make your partner better is for you to let Jesus make you better. Because here's the thing, sometimes we go into relationships or we're in relationships and we actually think it's our job to be the Holy Spirit in our spouses or our partner or significant other's life. I'm here to tell you, no, no, you're not supposed to be their Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit's really good at his job. Our job is to be their companion in the journey. And the best, the way that we can raise the level on our loved ones is to let Jesus raise our level. And that means to allow him to become, to allow, to allow him to make us more the way that he is. And I always think about that, that beautiful story that Jesus told about the person who had the speck in his eye and the person with the plank in their eye wanted to go to help the person with the speck. He's like, no, no, first you gotta take the plank out of your own eye. And that's what Jesus is saying. He's like, look, don't try and fix everyone else. Let me do the work of fixing you, and then you can be helpful. So I'm not saying that we don't have anything to do, but you need to raise the level. And really what you can do for your significant other is pray for them. Say, God, will you soften their heart? If you see a growing edges, we all have them. Say, Lord, will you soften their heart? And then as you're taking all the planks out of your own eyes and you're letting God do the work of transformation he wants to do in your life, then... If you've done that, you'll be humble when you go to your significant other and say, hey, listen, can we talk about this thing because I love you so much and I'm not perfect, you know I'm not, but I know that God wants to do a work here. And then beautiful, beautiful, beautiful growth happens. So this is what we do. I want you to share this message because how awesome would it be if all of us stopped trying to change everyone else and we let Jesus do the work of changing us and then our transformed life would be a transformational agent in the world. And in the comment section, I want you to tag somebody who you see is letting Jesus do the work of transforming their life. And I want you to encourage them to continue to allow Jesus to do all that he wants to do in their lives. And God bless you all today.